It's September and you're watching Super News. In this episode, you'll get VIP access to the first football game of the season. We show you how LCPS thrives to empower parents in the Language Academy and learn how our community partners are coming together to connect the digital divide. All this and more only on Super News. Welcome to Super News. I'm your host, Samantha Lewis. In each episode, we continue to highlight all the ways we thrive at LCPS. Today, we follow the bilingual community outreach team as they saw the highest number of enrollment to date for their Empowered Parents Academy. Here at LCPS, the bilingual community outreach team offers courses Monday through Thursday evenings for English and for Spanish as a second language. The team also offers courses in English and Spanish for their GED program. This semester, more than 160 adult learners signed up for evening classes. And then the two years that I've been here, uh, this is the most we've had, uh, which is awesome, but it also just shows the need that's out there. So we're looking at other ways uh, to offer classes, you know, uh, to participants, possibly in the mornings, having ESL in the mornings. Now that we have this Family Resource Center that's going to be open, it's one of those that I want it to be used by the community. And so one of the offerings that we're going to continue and in, include into our academy would be technology workshops, parenting workshops, uh, morning, you know, ESL classes so that those that are working uh, afternoon and evenings, they can come to the morning sessions and just to be able to meet the needs of our community is our biggest uh, goal. Classes are full for this semester, but you can still sign up today for any of the courses offered next semester. To sign up, contact the Bilingual Community Outreach Team at 575-202-0802. LCPS is offering an educational resource to students outside of the classroom that provides 24-7 support to help students ace that next test. PAPER is a free educational support system that cultivates learning gains through virtual tutoring. PAPER helps students succeed in every class with unlimited support from professional tutors. Tutors are vetted and trained to support students based on their needs and their teacher's instruction. The support is offered to students grades 6 through 12. PAPER offers one-on-one -on -one tutoring for any class subject, anytime. Using PAPER is so easy. Students log in through Clever, which is our single sign-on um, service. They look for the PAPER app or put it in the search bar if they don't see it at their top of their screen. And once they've done that and logged into paper, they can find their classes listed for them. And so if there's a specific class that they need support with, they can find that class and be connected with a tutor who's an expert in that area. If they're not sure, um, maybe it's a more general question or maybe it's a question that spans a few different concepts or curriculums, subjects, uh, then they can put a question right into a chat bar and then paper matches them with a tutor that will meet their needs. Students can request 24-7 support by logging into paper through their Student Clever account. Governor Michelle Lujan Grisham announced the state now has federal approval to pursue $675 million in federal grant funding. The goal is to expand broadband access in New Mexico. Here in Las Cruces, a local nonprofit organization is teaming up with community partners to help connect families with high speed internet in Doniana County. Aaron Castillas, executive director of Mycelia Foundation, is collaborating with Las Cruces Public Schools to address digital equity. The focus is to expand affordable broadband access in underserved areas in the state by working with local community partners to help build sustainable solutions. The Mycelia Foundation aims to educate and empower individuals with digital literacy skills through their Digital Navigator program while providing support and laptops to families at no cost. Technology is key when developing innovative tech solutions. That is why CEO Tony Dorman of the Electronic Caregiver Incorporated has volunteered their building to be a vital component for the infrastructure for the Internet Tower. You have got to deliver connectivity to the underserved. They will be terribly 
left behind, especially with how fast things are advancing and evolving and moving in the world. So it's a great privilege for us to be able to, to support it, to be part of it. And it is, uh, it is critical for the development, especially for the families and kids in New Mexico, that this continues to get additional resources and continues to rapidly expand. There are tens of thousands that do not have the connectivity that peers and others do. And so if we want to raise the community up, this is the way we do it. To learn more about the Mycelia Foundation and their efforts to educate and expand broadband, you can visit their website at myfound.org en. September is Childhood Cancer Awareness Month, and we are proud to partner with Southern New Mexico families to show our solidarity. That is why this month we encourage the community to be bold and wear gold. For more, we take you to the Field of Dreams for Senior Night and tune in for a special surprise during the halftime show. So it's gold out. Um, we're trying to bring attention to childhood cancer, the families that are dealing with children of cancer, and just showing families that we're here to support them through something that no family should ever have to deal with. I hope they know that when the community stands behind, this is a small town, even with four high schools, we're still a small town. We're still here for our neighbors. We're still here for our friends. And Xavier you know, as a high school, we but love every one of our kids and we're there for every one of them. We told our kids that there's going to be a special guest and the special guest has something for cancer tonight. Las Cruces versus Mayfield is the most anticipated long-standing rivalry game since 1965. And it happened to be the first game to kick off the 2024 football season. Tune in as the LCPS TV crew brings you all the school spirit from the press box to the sidelines and the stands. Welcome to Super News. <laughs> The Bulldogs took home bragging rights as they defeated the Trojans 50 to 7. Thank you for watching Super News. Be sure to follow us on Facebook, X, and Instagram. Also, like and subscribe on our LCPS TV YouTube channel. Tune in next month for the October episode. <laughs>